Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video because I was running into some problems myself using the Logitech G Hub app um, and just a little bit nuances, like it's it's kind of buggy, some people really don't like it. I personally love what it tries to do, I just think that there's a couple key features that are missing. Um, for example, like copying profiles isn't very intuitive and even once you figure that out, I have OCD and you can't override uh, a default profile for example. So I can't override this default. Um, what I mean by that is, so here's my standard desktop. This is the default profile. I just renamed it to say standard. It's, it's really just the one that they force you to have. And what I mean by they force you is, if you let's say, for example, in, in Modern Warfare, this is the one that they forced me to have. This is one that I created myself. You can see that when I go into details, I can delete this one. I can't do that on this one. can't delete it because it's the one that's required by them. So I want to be able to copy a profile from one game to another. Um, I can do that very easily. Let's let's add a custom game. I already have the path in here for Catan Universe. That's not in here. Just to show an example, um, select that. This is the default profile. They force me to have it when I open it. If you want to take a look, these are the default mappings that it has for my mouse, the G604. Uh, DPI up. This is just one that we're going to look at. Okay. I like this to be Enter. And I what I can do is in my desktop profile. If you see this, I have this mapped to Enter. Okay. You can drag this straight onto that icon. It'll copy it in here. But here's the problem: is it doesn't override the default. It just copied that entire profile into its own new thing. See, I can delete this one. Still can't delete this one because it's the one they force you to have. Well, I don't want to have a bunch of profiles plus this default one that I don't want to have to manually go through this one and remap everything. And I just clutters and I have OCD. I don't like it. So what's the fix? How can I override this? Well, we just did step one. You want to take the profile that you have for whichever game, click it, drag it onto the new icon. Now you have two profiles with this game. We're going to rename this one so it's easier to find because we're going to go into the code real quick. I'm just going to call this Catan Universe. Cool. So now we can spot this in a file. So we have to go into the LG Hub's files. Okay, so this is the path. Um, it's just in your app data directory. It's in your C drive or wherever you have your OS installed. You go to the users, you, yourself, app data, local, and then Ghub. And they don't store profiles as individual files. They store all of them in a giant JSON file. So this is the JSON file, settings.json. Let's go ahead and open that up. I'm going to make this look a little bit neater. I'm using VS Code. I'm just going to fold all of these brackets down. So that's all I did. Expand that one. Profiles. This is the portion that we care about because this is where they store all the information for profiles. Expand that, expand that. All these are all the individual profiles. Okay, so let's expand each one so we can find the ones that we care about. Thankfully, I don't have too many. So here you can see the name. This is the portion that helps you identify. Notice how we, we renamed um, this to be Catan Universe Default. So if I go back here, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for Catan Universe Default. Right here, Catan Universe Default. So this portion, this bracket, is the chunk that is the um, the one that we copied from desktop. So we copied it from here, dragged it into here, and it created Catan Universe default. We want to copy the stuff from this into this one. So shoot, I should also rename this one. Um, call this copy into this boy. And I'm going to have to relaunch this because this code does not update automatically, but that's fine. It'll be super quick. I'm just going to do the same things I just did. Fold all. Make it a little bit neater. Open all these up. Cool. So now we know we have Catania Universe. This is the one that we're copying from. And we want to copy it into this boy. So, assignments. This is the portion that has all the mappings that we care about. Um, you got to make sure, though, we need to close LG Hub. If we don't close it, it will automatically override whatever changes we do here, and it won't save them. So you can't just close it here. You have to go into the um, down here in your taskbar, right-click on LG Hub, quit. So now that that's closed, you'll notice that my, my DPI is a little bit lower because it's not using the application anymore. Go in here. Um, we want to copy from Catan Universe. Here's our assignment, so we're just going to copy all of this chunk. You don't have to expand it out, at least if you're using VS Code. I don't know about other editors. I can just copy all of that, Control C, copy it into this boy, and we're going to override and paste over all of these assignments. So I just did a paste there, and then notice this dot. I haven't saved yet. Save it. 
we're good. Close it. And now, ghub, launch Logitech ghub again. Once this is done, if we go into the profiles, go into Catan. So this is the one we copied from, and we copied it into this boy. If we click on this and open it up, we should notice that the mapping is now overridden to be enter, just how we want it. And that is the default profile. I cannot delete it, so we know that's the right one. And I can now delete the old one because we don't care about that. And just to show that it still works, go into it, still says enter. I have a little bit of OCD. It's, this is like one of the scenarios where this should be integrated into the application, but it's not. But I hope this was helpful to you because it, I, I thought it was helpful to me. Yeet.